once oil pan is off clean up all the edges get all the old gasket off brake clean it dry it all off as you can see up uh, there right there had a jack motor up using the extended bracket check the motor up and the pan slid out now to put new pan on silicone be sure to put silicone where the block meets the rear housing and the front housing both sides both sides uh, finger, there we go. Uh, and as far as the new pan goes a couple ways to do this either a after you wire wheel this off clean it you want some bare metal for this to adhere to you can put silicone on this put gasket on there wait for it starting to harden and then go ahead and put it on or what I'm gonna do is line everything up put one two three four zip ties not up, not tight about that loose so that gasket stays in place you can move it around get it up in place put silicone on the block in this corner this corner and so on and so forth and then start a couple bolts cut these zip ties pull zip ties out slap it back together so I'll try to show what I can zip ties are in place loosey goose so you can still maneuver gasket around put silicone and then just cut zip ties yeah you're wasting four zip ties but you're not dealing with slimy mess the whole time around all right pardon the goofy angle but there's the front so sliding the oil pan back up on should be relatively simple without any need for prying or moving oh my goodness this angle is terrible i'm so sorry but now that we have it up in place a couple dabs of silicone and start a few bolts Bear with me. All right. Once you have a handful of bolts in, you can go ahead and cut these zip ties and pull it through without damaging anything. So go ahead and do on all four of them. Put all your bolts in and torque them. All right, oil pan is all secured. So while you're down here, it would probably be who of you to replace motor mounts they're not in the saddle anymore since you had to loosen them to get to jack the motor up to get the oil pan out so there is one bolt up there and two right there and then just take it off and put a new one on it'd probably be smart to do that now then wait for it to fail since both of them are accessible right now And there we have it. Now just to tighten down this bolt. And the other side, oh, let me get the flashlight. There we go. There we go, and there's the other one in there. Motor mounts, now just to tighten them both down. And we are all set. Woo. Thanks for watching. Sorry the video is a little short. But um, it was really, really difficult trying to do it with one hand and trying to manipulate and move around. So thanks for watching again. Please like and subscribe and check out my YouTube channel. I'm trying to do a random everything, hence random trades. So once again, thanks again. See you in the next random trade.